I'm Lee Pimble, Sontex Application Manager for Europe. So you've just received your first Flow Tracker 2. You're going to be really keen to find out what you've got in that box. So let's have a look. First thing, really obvious to you, the handheld. This is the bit where you do all the program, all the input for the parameters for that gauging you're going to do in the field. Secondly, and really important to us, it's the sensor itself that does all the work collecting that water velocity information for you. It comes with a 1.5 meter cable that plugs straight into the bottom of the handheld. You might be interested to know that you can extend that cable with a couple of optional um, cable lengths. We all know what a pain it is when you're out in the field and you lose battery, whether it's on your PC or whether it's on the instrument. With a Flow Tracker 2, that's no problem. Middle of the gauging or not, take out the, the battery pack that's just, uh, just failed on you and drop in a new one. The Flow Tracker 2 comes with a spare cartridge, gets you up and gauging straight away from exact point you've just finished your, uh, your measurement. We then have the optional top setting wading rod. Comes in uh, English units or in metric units. We can't do anything without software these days. Your USB drive here contains the software, Windows software, for you to put onto your PC for you to download all that data onto. And a handy extension USB cable here for connection. USB cable or Bluetooth makes no odds. Flow Tracker 2 is Bluetooth enabled. And if you've forgotten it all, there's this really handy quick start guide here. Talks you through everything we've got in the box and how to get your first gauging up and running. And then for those of you who need to be ISO 9001 compliant, here's your certificate of uh, calibration. So let's have a look at um, putting it all together. I typically start with the uh, top setting wading rod. There's uh, two circular poles on here. Align the larger of the two first. Quickly twist them on, take you a few seconds, it's not too bad. Once we've got that tight, raise the handle of the smaller one and just screw that down in. Once that's tight, we're ready to attach the flow tracker to it. It comes with a useful little bracket on the back of the flow tracker 2 handheld. Drop that onto this pin. The sensor into the end. Attach your wet mateable plug onto the bottom. Screw it on. And there we are, ready to go and do our first gauging. I'm Lee Pimble from Sontech, helping you solve water with the Flow Tracker 2.